welcome to NAVDAC and your health. On this show, we bring you updates on NAVDAC's activities in fulfilling its mandate of safeguarding the health of the nation. My name is Amanda Ugo. NAVDAC as an agency is empowered to oversee the administration and control of all kinds of food products, drugs, and other regulated products that are made available for use and consumption of the Nigerian public. In other words, any products that fall under the NAVDAC regulated products found in the Nigerian markets for purchase, whether locally made or imported, must have been approved by the agency. It is therefore the responsibility of NABDAC to go after distributors or sellers of such products that have not undergone its scrutiny. On this edition of this program, our focus is on the efforts of NABDAC towards ensuring that unapproved regulated products that have found their ways into the Nigerian market through clandestine means and have been sold to the public are found out, retrieved from the market, and their peddlers are brought to book. The agency also clamps down on inappropriate storage and exhibition for sale that could have negative effects on these products. The strength of a regulatory agency also lies in the enforcement. In fact, if there is no enforcement, there will not be a regulatory agency because a regulatory agency is supposed to enforce or to control, of course, uh, the regulatory activities and to enforce, to ensure that people do not violate the regulations. Therefore, enforcement is extremely important in NAVDAC, uh, but it is not just as part of our regular activities. The Federal Tax Force C-34 uh, law is domiciled in NAVDAC. The headquarters of the Federal Tax Force is in NAVDAC. And it is supposed to, the Federal Tax Force is supposed to control, uh, to ensure there are no fake medicines in the country, no unwholesome foods in the country. Uh, and with that Federal Tax Force headquarters in Lagos, you have 36 state tax forces. So it, enforcement is so important for NAVDAC as a regulatory agency, but in terms of food, drugs, chemicals, and all the things that it is extremely important for the country. That is part of the reason why it was domiciled. It has been domiciled in NAVDAC. People may not understand what NAVDAC is in terms of enforcement, but we are also policemen. In, you know, in, uh, looking, at, looking out for violators to ensure there will be deterrent, they will not repeat whatever they did before. We have about 75, um, almost 80 policemen attached to NAVDAC because of this federal tax force that is domiciled in NAVDAC. And the enforcement can be as simple as somebody resisting NAVDAC to enter their property, and then enforcement will come in with police to ensure that whatever NAVDAC wanted to see, NAVDAC sees. It can be as simple as that. It can also be, or they can find themselves in a situation where they are keeping vigil at the ports, at the border, for days on end. Through intelligence, when they've been briefed that there, will, there, there is uh, contraband or violated products coming through a particular route, it can be to that point. It can be a raid where they have to go to the market or uh, to a particular site where falsified medicines are being made or sold or whatever uh, or wholesome food. It can be sealing a company, paying on an unannounced visit 
to a company, let's say that there is an issue of, of bad distribution of medicine coming from a particular company. It is an activity that takes place almost every minute, depending on where informant or the information is coming from. Enforcement cannot happen just within NAVDAC. There is a lot of collaboration with customs, with EFCC, with the uh, World Customs Organization, I've forgotten, the, with Interpol, with FBI, meaning it has now gotten across or go, you know, gone across uh, from our country to another country. So enforcement is extremely important. If products are deemed to have been violated, either they are unregistered or they are expired and are being sold, things like that, NAVDAC has the power to seize, to seal the, the, the site. NAVDAC has the power to arrest if, it, if there is resistance or to prosecute, you know. Uh, and those products that are seized are stored until a time when we can then go and destroy them. And that happens maybe three or four times a year because we want to be sure, because we have to pay uh, for the destruction too, you know. Uh, so we accumulate and then, you know, uh, destroy. Uh, we've just finished doing northeast, northwest, south, south, and southeast together uh, of accumulated seized products worth billions of Naira. This is extremely important uh, because if these products are not seized and destroyed, they're going to be in the circulation, of course. Uh, I will give an example of enforcement activities. It's not just the enforcement directorate that does that. Pharmacovigilance, post-marketing, surveillance also can seize products, if they're resistant, they call enforcement. Any, uh, uh, any of the inspectorate, directorate, food, safety, and applied nutrition, FCT, uh, drug evaluation and research, they can put on hold and then they can evacuate if their resistance enforcement comes, comes in. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, dynamics in terms of what happens on, you know, every day. Uh, and uh, as part of our regulatory system strengthening, it's also one of the things that the auditors are looking for. Okay, you seize products. Let us look at your warehouse. Do you know how much is coming in and going out for destruction? Do you have a systematic way of keeping the inventory? Bear in mind that some of the products that we seize may be going through prosecution, or the, the owners or whatever may be going through prosecution. So we have to keep them in such a way that we can retrieve them. We have to keep them in a way that we keep the quality of the system, we cannot just put it in anywhere, in any storage place where the temperature is so high and it breaks down. And then when it comes to the court, they would say, okay, let, let's go and test it. And it's no longer the way it's supposed to, you know, it, it, the quality has, has decreased. So uh, it is a lot of dynamics, a lot of uh, thoughtfulness that have to be put in it or science, rather, that has to be put in it. So uh, that is our enforcement uh, activities in a nutshell. Peddlers of this illegal product always employ various means to outsmart NAVDAC in their shady businesses. But the NAVDAC's Directorate of Investigation and Enforcement, in its innovativeness through surveillance and intelligence, locates these peddlers and their harmful products, and then they carry out exercises to make our markets free of these products. 
The program continues after the short break. Please stay with us. No way. I'm never taking vaccines again or giving it to my child. My head aches. My child. That would have been me if I did not know better that reactions after vaccination are called adverse events following immunization, AEFI. And it is normal. In fact, it often indicates that the vaccines are working effectively. Yes, every individual reacts differently. It can be serious or non-serious, such as fever, fatigue, headache, dizziness, pain, swelling at injection site, rashes, etc. So don't be scared about taking vaccines. All vaccines are certified by WHO and approved by NAFTA. The benefit of vaccination far outweighs the adverse events that could follow. To report any adverse events, visit the health center where you receive the vaccine or one nearest to you or call the phone number on your vaccination card. You can also report AEFI using the MedSafety app. Vaccines are free, safe and effective. Get vaccinated today. This message is from the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, NPHCDA, and the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC. For further inquiries, visit www.nphcda.gov.ng or call 7722. Welcome. You're watching NAFDAC and your health. The use of sex-enhancing drugs, otherwise known as aphrodisiac, has become a common phenomenon among men who want to increase their sexual performances, but unknown to many. Like any other drug, it is necessary to consult a physician to know whether a sex-enhancing drug is actually required and get a prescription rather than buying and using the drug indiscriminately. Indiscriminate use of aphrodisiac is, however, particularly common among those who feel that consulting a physician or buying navdoc approved brands are expensive, thereby going for the unapproved, cheaper and dangerous ones. The Directorate of Investigation and Enforcement, acting on intelligence report, recently swooped on distributors of unapproved sex-enhancing drugs in major markets in Abuja. The first point of call was a popular Zuber market in the Federal Capital Territory. We received an intelligence on the sales and distribution of a new product that is of concern to NAVDAC and Nigeria at large. The name of the product is called Hajia Aisha Snob, an AK-47 as well as uh, Bulletproof. Bulletproof and Hajia Aisha Masanda. These are products that are purported to be manufactured in Ghana, but they are bringing it to Nigeria and selling it to the team population of our country. Our laboratory analysis so far indicated that this product contains a chemical substance known as pyridine, which is a potential harmful substance to the human body. That is the reason why we are here. As you can see, there are a lot of sacks of the product that we have found in this shop. Also, most of the products, have a product that are in this shop, are unregistered. So that is why we are here. We are going to carry out our investigation. One of the boys of the owner of the shop, we met here. We are going to arrest him. And then we will evacuate all these products and continue with our investigation. The product is used as snob for, according to them, to make, make them high. And some of them are saying that the product is used as an aphrodisiac. But so far, we are yet to determine what the, the usage of the product is as per claim by them. It is only them that can say this is what the product is made for. But for us, as an agency, we can only say that the product is safe for human consumption. But the claim as ascribed by them cannot be determined by us. So when all the investigations are done, what are you going to do to all these products? When, after the investigation, automatically the product is going to be destroyed because it has not been registered by us. And so far from our preliminary investigation in the lab, it shows that it contains a chemical substance that is harmful to human body. So we cannot allow it to be to circulate in our population. But seriously, I didn't know that it's something that is dangerous to me in Nigeria. As uh, most of the reason that we are selling to to we are used to take it. Uh, for our daily basis. So basically, 
campaign for that. You say something like that. You say you've Ura. been working for the owner of this business now Ura. for 10 years. Mm. Where is he now? What's his name? He has to go to Ghana. The enforcement team also raided the Utako market and the exercise gave away more distributors of unapproved products. Also found among the illegal products discovered at the Utako market were other brands of aphrodisiac. It's popularly known in the local palace, manpower. For those of them that have not been registered by the agency, that is why we have cases of where by some of our men die on top of women when they take these substances because it's above the approved milligram that is recommended for, for, for human use. Moreover, we don't always prescribe aphrodisia for people anyhow. They have to go to hospital and when they see the physician to ascertain the status of their health, particularly their heart status, to see whether they can be able to use the aphrodisia. But incidentally, you can see it in a shop that is not even a pharmaceutical premises. Well, as the man we met here, the salesman that you call himself, said the reason why they are selling this product is because of the market and that it's cheaper for people. So they are capitalizing on their property level. That is why they are selling all this kind of product that has not been approved by now. But we are appealing to Nigeria, please don't patronize people that sells or register products. People that you should stop patronizing them. We have a lot of them here. Mm -hmm. This one is called Vega. Vega Extra. Origin. Another Mars Market. They are all purported to be manufactured from US. And they have been sold in like the salesman said they are selling this thing because according to him it is cheaper product that doesn't have enough that money of course it has to be cheap because it has all undergone the rigorous scrutiny by the agency we have been having interagency cooperation particularly with custom and the nigerian police you can attest to that we have police all working with us now and just as you mentioned coming from the border you have rightly said, but you should know that the problem we have as a country, our border is so porous. And moreover, these products, they are not coming in legitimately. So we cannot say that they come into the border. Maybe they come into clandestine act, either in the night, through a porous border, or through bushes. Because they are not registered by us, we cannot say they are coming from the right through border. But we need the cooperation of the suspect that are arrested so as to get how they bring in this product into the country. Sometimes we run into problems when the small small price did not give you information as to who is the supplier of the product, then you are stuck with investigation. But if there is cooperation from the small price, as you call them, for us they are not small fry. Even if it is one product that we are able to recover from the suspect and we have been able to save the life of a Nigerian, for us it's a big catch. I agree they are not being manufactured here, agree they are coming into the border but now that we have designated ports we don't allow drugs to come in through the land border is we have designated port that has been designated for entry of drugs into the country so certainly they are not from that designated port but they are coming from the land border. NAVDAC will continue to sensitize the public on the dangers of patronizing sellers of unapproved food products and drugs and also appeal to the public to contact the agency if the authenticity of a particular product is in doubt. That has been our package on this edition of the program. Join us again, same time, same station, next week for another enlightening program. Remember, importing, producing, distributing, and selling of fake drugs, cosmetics, and adulterated food are criminal offenses and are harmful to the health. Join us in the fight against this by reporting any case of suspicious activities in your area to NAVDAC. You can reach NAVDAC via toll-free numbers. For inquiries, call 0700-162-3322. For complaints, call 0800 162 3322. 
You may also email nafdac at nafdac.gov.ng. If you have complaints about any form of misconduct, you can reach the Reforms Unit via email reforms at nafdac.gov.ng or call the Reforms Hotlines on 0909-763-0506 or 0909-763-0507. NAFDAC, customer-focused, agency-minded. To be meet next week, stay safe.